welcome to another lecture and now we will see how to get started with power apps so we can create three types of apps in power apps one is canvas app and then model driven app and then portal so let's first discuss about canvas app so the canvas app is where you can build an app with an ui so that means you can create a blank canvas app and with that you can add your controls and then you can connect to more than 200 data sources as well so this is very easy that you can create a canvas app you can connect to a sharepoint list even you can connect to a excel file those things you can do and by default when you will create the app it will ask you for uh, if you want to design it for a tablet layout or mobile layout the tablet layout also will work for the browser or the web as well and we can easily customize this by using various controls logic we can put and this way you can develop and here you can see a simple uh, power ops form that i have created over here you can see i have used various controls i have created in three columns layout as well so this is about the canvas app and next the model ribbon app model ribbon uh, apps are basically built on top of dataverse table so that means if you want to create a app from that then you should have a environment with dataverse in that so dataverse database should be there then you will be able to create it and model driven apps in in, in power apps basically focus on adding components such as forms view charts dashboard to the tables using this app designer and for a model driven app it is like you will create the tables you will build the relationship and then you start building the apps by connecting to your tables in in microsoft dataverse and then you will add your forms or views or chat and dash, dashboards are like this and these are basically known as the data driven data model driven apps because without a data model you cannot create it so basically you need to create a data model you should have a data model inside the microsoft dataverse and in canvas app the the person who is making the app they have the full control of the app layout in model driven app most of this these are determined by the components so whatever the component you are adding that way so basically the model driven apps in this case you can just quickly view the business data and then make decision on that so that's the in, um, intent of a model driven app now let's let's see this is a app i have taken this example from microsoft site you can see here this is a model driven app you can see here charts are there so uh, this way and the if you'll see the differences quickly i'll tell you the differences again these are the differences which are i have taken from microsoft only so the data platform in this case we are using dataverse for the model driven and in this case you have dataverse as well as there are many connectors are there as i said you can connect to sharepoint you can connect to excel you can connect to sap you can connect to um you know dynamics 365 any microsoft or non-microsoft product you can connect as well and then the design experience in this case a no code component which are uh, because mostly focus on the whatever the uh, data model that they have and here you have uh, you can play with the control properties using power of x expressions and in this case the ui will have a limited uh, customization that you can do and then in this case in the canvas app you can completely customize it you can add control you can remove control you can adding add business logic everything you can do on that and consistency in this case is high uh, based on the tables and views that you have you you will choose and uh, here the control is uh, the designer that have uh, the user experience and the migrations let's say this is simple because uh, this it is there in the model ribbon um, uh, apps are uh, it is simple because it is there in the dataverse but in the canvas app if we'll see here there are complex because it is interacting or might be connecting with the various data sources which are uh, uh, maybe non-microsoft data source as well and this is rapid uh, model driven app here relatively com complex uh, in the design and then responsive by default model driven apps as i said it is responsive by design and here in this case uh, this is responsive based on what the layout that you have chosen if it is a tablet layout that you choose then uh, it will be responsive default the tablet so and the navigation through this relationship it is automatic and then here um, it is um, only where this is designed and applied by using the power apps fx formulas and the accessibility this is built in and this is uh, designed into the app so uh, these are quite differences a uh, few difference on model ribbon app and canvas app mostly when you will work with uh, if your data is not there in the dataverse then you are connecting with sharepoint or any other external resources 
then in this case we usually create canvas app on that and uh, the last one is the portal so this is basically we will create a public facing website where user can sign in with various sign in options even they can uh, or even the users can browse the content anonymously so this is where the portal concept is there so this is like a website where you can showcasing your products on that so these are basically the three things that we can um I start with and in the next video we will discuss about the licensing things and then we will start creating our power apps app on that so thank you and i will see you in the next next lecture